How's it going everyone? I just wanted to do an update August 2023 on these Honda mowers. Uh, this is the GCV 200 on the Honda HRX 217K6 series. I know the HRN 216 is also, which is smaller. It's the GCV 170 engine. I've had, I haven't had this issue yet with the camshaft. So the camshaft, like I said before, is very hard to uh, start. If you do start it, it's kind of like a chainsaw. Um, and the only issues I've had so far with this mower was starting, which I thought was the camshaft. It's not, it's totally different. Um, that was the thermal wax here. Um, the, you know, the, the gears were a little slow, so I modified it. I had to go under here with these two bolts. I have a video on that and uh, just to increase the speed on it, it was too slow for me. And the other thing was the, the front right here, the overhead valve was leaking, constantly leaking on me. But I haven't had issues on this yet, thank God, knock on wood. And I bought it May 2022. Um, that's when I purchased this mower off Mowers Direct. And uh, so it, it has been in the shop, but no camshaft recall yet. So I'm actually gonna call Honda themselves, Honda Motor uh, Equipment, All American Honda Mower Equipment. I'm gonna call them right now and have a live video with you guys um, showing uh, their response on this topic and if they have a solution yet for you guys. So if you guys are interested, please stay tuned. Like is much appreciative. Um, please subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? I'm going to call American Honda Power Equipment, see what they say about this Honda. Um, it, today is August, so it's a new month, and I want to see if there's any updates on this, um, the Honda mowers. As you know, we have the HRX and the HRN models that are the camshaft defect, so let's see what they say. Thank you for calling American Hot. Please hold while we transfer your call to the next available representative. All calls will be recorded and may be monitored for quality and training purposes. Thank you for calling American Honda. This is how many of 56. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. Um, I'm looking into the Honda uh, lawnmowers. I know there's a camshaft defect issue going on. Um, do you know what year that is? Affect it? For the uh the camshaft defect so that is under still review uh we don't know the serial range just yet um you don't uh we don't know what year it is um or when it started unfortunately i won't be able to help right now uh as it is still an ongoing issue i guess review or issue yeah yeah do you know if uh because I bought mine in May of uh, 2022. Um, do you know if those were affected at all or no? Or you're, it's kind of. I'm not too entirely sure. They're kind of, uh, they're just kind of sporadic. And, um, you know, when these units have been purchased by other customers, uh, oh. they've been kind of uh, sporadic as to what is going on with these uh, issues. Gotcha. Gotcha. Will they, um, Warranty? Will they um, honor like a longer warranty or no? Because of um, it, it's whatever. So if you if you purchase it of uh, uh, May of last year, yes, it still goes. It still goes on the, um, the original uh, warranty. Uh, I I guess like date. However, if it is if it is caused by that issue, if you are having that can the pull cord getting stuck. Uh, issue. We are still taking it under warranty, but at the moment there is no official procedure on how to fix this uh, issue. Oh, there still isn't a, a, a solution really for that. Yeah. Um, what is the problem exactly? It's just uh, hard to pull. To be, on to, to be honest, I have no idea from just from experience from other customers like that have been calling in. It's just that uh, either the the um, pull cord is getting hard to pull or it'll just like latch back uh, pretty quickly 
Oh, gotcha. Kind of like a hydro lock then, in a way. Yeah, in a sense, yeah, technically. Okay, and uh, do you know what models are affected by this? The uh, HRN, the HRN217 and the HRX217 as well. Those the HRX and the HRN models. Okay, okay, and uh, so uh, there's like no solution for parts yet on this? Uh, yeah, so yeah, again, we do, we're still investigating. I think, I think we're at about a month, I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're at about a month, but uh, all I know is that yeah, this started happening from, I believe, like, early 2023. So, early 2022 may not be affected, but again, we're not too entirely sure. Early 2023, okay. And um, do you know when uh, exactly, when what date um, Honda will stop production? I know they said September, but do you know, like, a date or... Uh, exactly. Well, uh, I just know that it was it was scheduled to be like late September, not an exact date. Oh, late September. I yeah, I don't know if it has been pushed back or because of this situation. I, I don't don't have any information, unfortunately. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to ask a few questions just to see. Um, I was just a little nervous because uh, mine is an HRX two one seven. I haven't had issues yet with it. Um. Okay with the pork pull cords or anything so i'm just kind of looking into it just in case you know <laughs> but it, it usually just happens within the um like if if you were affected by it from what i've been seeing uh it should have been affected by now uh it's only it, it's only on the i believe like usually customers have that issue around 20 minutes of use or even the second time of using it that's when they, they experience start experiencing that pull cord issue okay is it like pulling a chainsaw kind of where it's like you know hard to release basically yeah 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 it's like it's just really hard to like pull or like it just feels stuck okay that's what i was thinking okay all right thank you so much for your info yeah, of course. It was my absolute pleasure. Was there any other questions you have for me today? Uh, no. And um, I was thinking too, like, because usually, what is the warranty on a mower? Like five years if it's not commercial. Um, if, if it's, it's an, yeah, if it's an HRX, it's a five-year warranty. Okay, so you guys will still carry that warranty even though uh, they're discontinuing production. Um, yeah, yeah, that's correct. So that's all set. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your info. So after talking to Honda, Honda Power Equipment on the phone, it seems like this is not an issue for these models, the 2022. It seems like it, it's only 2023 from the ref, what he said. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're gonna extend their warranty. That's what I was trying to say in the uh, video before, extend the warranty on these mowers, um, but they will honor it, you know, five years if it's the HRX model, like they were saying. Um, great, these were great, you know, reliable mowers, and, um, I guess it's a defect in the camshaft, um, like he was saying, it's, it's like hydro lock, basically. I had a, you know, a snow blower like that, where it kicked back, like, when you, uh, started it, it was a pain in the ass, but it's just sad to see Honda going this way. They're known for easy start, it even says right here, easy start auto choke system easy start that's what it should be known as one pull every time i've never had issues with honda before with starting and this is the first machine i've had issues with starting um which was this the honda hrx sadly um and that was the thermo wax but sadly it's you know the uh camshaft now on the new ones and uh it seems like he said um this year so 2023 uh, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you buy one of these new mowers? Thanks. Take care.